Hello students, in this current video, I will cover the most significant concept of financial management that is profit maximization. I will cover favorable as well as unfavorable argument of profit maximization besides the most significant one that is criticism of this concept even will be explained. Profit maximization. What do you mean by profit maximization here? Profit maximization is the process of identifying the most efficient manner of obtaining the highest rate of return from its production. In this concept, the high emphasis would be there on maximizing the profit. How much percentage of return? What is the amount of profit that a business will generate out of its operations will be given priority. This is one of the most important objectives of financial management. Favorable argument. Under favorable argument, first one is barometer of performance. In the sense what? Here, the profitability will measure the performance of the business. The firm which earns greater profits will be considered as a sound business and considered as performing well. The next one is survival in different economic conditions. If a firm earns a greater amount of profit and accumulated reserves through those profits, that profit can be used in peril situations like recession, depression, and business can survive with those profits and those reserves in the difficult conditions even. Next one is expansion and diversification. Of course, if the, the same way, if the business earns profit and accumulated reserves, those reserves can be used for what we call expansion as well as growth of the business. Attract investors. The profit will attract investors in the sense what some investors would be more interested in investing in those businesses which earns greater amount of profit or greater percentage of profit. Therefore, the shareholders will be interested in applying their capital in the businesses which earn huge profit. That's the reason why profit will be the most significant criteria to attract the investors. Maximize stakeholders return. Of course, when the business earns huge amount of profit, the profit will be distributed among the shareholders. So the return, the value of the share will also increase. So here maximization of here, the shareholders return will be maximized in the sense they will get more return to fulfill social desire here profitability is essential to fulfill social goals also a firm by pursuing the objective of profit maximization also maximize socio-economic welfare by means of undertaking various social welfare initiatives. what does it mean it does means that the business if earns a huge amount of profit or good amount of profit the business can also contribute certain amount towards the society and development of the society. It comes under the category of CSR. CSR stands for Corporate Social Responsibility. Unfavorable argument. When you come to the unfavorable argument here leads to corrupt practices. In order to show huge amount of profit, in order to show greater amount of profit, the exploitation of workers and consumers may take place. In the sense what? The business may give more work to the workers to produce the more goods to decrease the cost of production. Besides, the business can charge more money from the consumers even. So, it is also very important that the corrupt practices should not be taken place in the business. Attract competition. Here what is happening? Whenever people find a particular line of business is earning huge amount of profit, greater amount of profits, then everybody will tend to take up those activities, those business lines. So that's the reason why it will attract competition in the business. Induces government intervention. Whenever you earn a huge amount of profit, a greater amount of profit, then what will happen? The government intervention will come into the picture. In the sense, government will see why such a business and why that business, why particular business is earning a greater amount of profit? What are the reasons? Are they doing any malafide things? Besides, the government even can take up such businesses in the in their preview. In the sense, from the private people, the government can take up and government can run whenever such businesses are earning huge profit. Such kind of a difficulty the entrepreneurs may face leads to employee exploitation. Of course, whenever the uh, business wants to earn huge profit, 
exploitation of the employees is also taken place here what will happen employees will be given more work and they will be forced to work more number of hours here the entrepreneurs will put their best efforts to earn huge amount of profit though those efforts in the sense some of the decisions may not be in favor of the employees but still it will be taken to earn huge amount of profits criticism this is also very very significant when you come to the criticism it is a vague concept so here some of the uh, eminent authors suggested that the profit is not defined precisely or correctly in the sense which profit you are talking about whether it is profit before tax profit after tax and which type of profit operating profit or net profit all these questions will arise so that's the reason why profit can be considered as a vague concept according to few authors that is the most significant criticism the profit maximization method face it ignores the time value of money here when we are talking about the profit maximization we don't give any priority to time value of money time value of money is the most significant concept for financial management students I will provide the link of the uh, videos which I have already made on time value of money that especially calculation of future value, calculation of present value. All these concepts are already available. I will share the link of those videos in the i button as well as in the description box. Please do watch those videos to understand better the concept of time value of money. Then last one is it ignores risk. Profit maximization does not consider risk of the business concern. Future is always uncertain. What do you mean by risk here? Risk is refers to the deviation between the your expectations and reality. So reality will be in future. Therefore, there may be a deviation. The business will not take up precautionary measures to overcome from the uh, upcoming risk. So that's the reason why this is also one of the most significant criticism. I hope I have given you clear crystal picture of what is profit maximization and I will also make a video on wealth maximization and will provide the link of those videos even and comparison of profit maximization and wealth maximization even. So I wish you all the best. Thanks for watching the video. Do subscribe my channel, mentor the trusted guy and motivate me to make more qualitative and info videos for the students. Thank you very much.